Today we're doing stuffed plank steak. Roasted red peppers, onions, mushrooms, spinach, pepper jack cheese. Wrap it all up, reverse sear it by putting it into the smoker for a little while first and then throwing it onto the grill. This thing's gonna be awesome. Stick around, I'll show you how to put it together. My name is Rich, this is Rack's Barbecue and Grill. Let's get cooking. Okay, stuffed plank steak. We're gonna start with getting all the uh, ingredients that we're gonna stuff into this thing. Starting with the red pepper, just gonna throw it on the grill, roast it up. Roast the red pepper is an awesome thing to have in any recipe. Just let that go a few minutes, turn it every once in a while. Um, if you don't have a fresh roasted red pepper, you can buy the stuff in the jar, that's fine too, that'll work. The rest of the stuff we're just gonna throw on the flat top over here. Some vegetable oil down. I cut most of these stems off. Just really want the leaves for the most part. So while the spinach is starting, we'll slice up our mushrooms and our onions. And all this stuff is gonna cook down. It seems like a lot. We'll have a little bit more than we need, but it'll be enough. Break up the slices so they all cook at the same rate. Throw the mushrooms on. Get our onions sliced up. And you can, use, you can use a white onion. I like the red. A little bit more flavor to it. And onto the plant top. A little bit more oil. Give our pepper a flip. And get some of this stuff cleaned up and out of my way. We got a few more minutes for this stuff. Red pepper is going to take a little bit longer, but once, we, once that's done, we'll get that sliced up, get everything mixed together. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing to the channel, give the video a like. It helps the algorithm get things boosted for me. Um, we're, we just hit a thousand subscribers. Okay, spinach, mushrooms, onions, these are done. They're not completely cooked all the way down, but they'll finish up when they're inside the plank stick. Just want to get them started. Okay, we're just gonna let those sit. I was gonna say come up to room temperature, but come up to outside temperature. We just don't want to put them in really hot right off of the griddle. So I'll let those go. And waiting on the pepper, then we'll move to the next step. All right, pepper's done. We're gonna pull it off. The trick to this is either wrap it in some plastic wrap. I just throw it into a freezer bag, let it steam itself. And that's what you want right there. You wanna see if the skin's getting wrinkly, just like me, <laughs> starting to blister. So just throw it into the bag for a few minutes. It won't take long, and we'll start on getting the flank steak ready now. The flank steak, I just like to get a little bit of the moisture off the top of it, best that you can. And then just, you know, any of these hard pieces of fat or silver skin, just clean it up a little bit. It's not gonna hurt it if you leave it on there, it's just a preference. This big chunk of fat right here, if you try to get that out of there, that hard stuff doesn't like to render down usually. All right, so, you know, flank steak isn't very thick to begin with, but it's too thick to actually roll. You can do one of two things. You can cover a plastic wrap, get a meat mallet or a cast iron skillet and beat this thing down flat. Or you can do like I'm going to attempt and we're going to fillet this thing open, butterfly it open, so we can get everything in. Just gotta take your time and we're gonna go with the grain here. Kind of long cuts, pull it up as you're going. And if you cut through, it's not a big deal. We'll work worth it if you do. And it'll be amazing if I get through this without cutting a hole in it myself, but we're gonna try not to. Just try and keep your knife completely flat, parallel with the steak. When you get close to the end, you wanna stop. It's gonna open like a book, right? We don't wanna cut all the way through but we want to get far enough back that the whole thing opens up for us. I think that's looking good. We got a couple little holes here, one over here. It'll all work. Everything gets rolled back up together. And then I usually like just to score up the ends a little bit. That side's not too bad. All right, just like that. I'm gonna go back to this pepper. You just kind of push it around in the bag. Most of the skin will come off. Yeah, let's try and get 
this out of the way. Get the rest of the skin off with your knife. And then we'll just slice it apart, voiding the core as much as possible. Just get it all mixed up with the rest of our mushrooms and onions and spinach. Okay, we're ready to start stuffing this thing. But before we do, we need to season it up. Start with some kosher salt. And this is really to taste. I generally, I don't know, I guess I, if I had to give you a number, I'd say half a teaspoon per pound of meat, regardless of what the beef is. A little bit of black pepper. And some garlic powder. Uh, we're also gonna use cheese. We're gonna stuff this with some cheese. I bought some pepper jack to do that with. We're just gonna lay the cheese out first. You can use whatever cheese you want. I like pepper jack, so that's what we're going with today. As you're laying the cheese down, as well as when we start putting the stuffing in, you want to leave about an inch around the edges. It'll help with when you roll things, because it's going to come, it's, stuff's going to start coming out of it as you roll it up. Break the cheese up into little pieces if you need to. Just make sure you got good coverage, like that. Make sure our mixture is all nice and stirred together. And just start piling it in. Again, being mindful of keeping in about an inch around from the edges. My kids are gonna love me for this one because neither one of them like mushrooms. But they can pick them out, right? All right, I'm gonna call that good. Now the somewhat tricky part. And it's, it's the stuffing's gonna fall out here and there. Just do the best that you can. It's not, a, it's not game over if things start coming out. Just get the edge and start rolling. Use your fingers to tuck as you're rolling. We want to end up with the seam at the bottom. Just like that, not too hard. You got something coming out of the side, shove it back in there. Now we got to tie this thing up. I do not possess the butcher skills to use one piece of twine for the whole piece of meat. So little pieces at a time. Start on one end, nice and tight, tight as you can get it. So we don't want this thing falling apart on us. And then instead of running down from one end, I get the one side going and I like to go over to the other side. It tends to help if you start here and you keep tying, 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 and it's nice and tight, you're, you're pushing your stuffing in. And by the time you get to the other end, a lot of your stuffing will start coming out. Okay, before we get this into the smoker, we're gonna put some more seasoning on the outside of it. Speaking of, I've got the pellet smoker preheated at 235 degrees. We're gonna do a reverse sear on this thing. So we'll smoke it for a little while, get it up to about 120, and then we'll give it a quick sear on the grill. Same thing as on the inside, salt, pepper, garlic powder. My go-to for any beef. It's all right, we're set into the smoker. Put the thermometer just about in the middle, keep an eye on it so it gets to about 115, 120 and onto the grill to get a nice sear on it. Okay, our flank steak just hit 120 degrees in the smoker. We're gonna pull it out and give it a quick rest. Okay, like I said, we'll let this rest for about five minutes while the grill's coming up to temperature and we're that much closer to chow time. Okay, this thing's been in the smoker for 45 minutes. Like I said, we hit 120 degrees. We let it rest for five minutes. Now we're gonna throw it into the grill. I got ripping hot over here. Put a nice quick sear on it. I left the probe in there so I can watch it. We're gonna pull it out about 135. Hopefully hit that uh, medium rare. It's gonna be a little bit more done probably on the outside of it just because of how thin it is, but this, it's gonna be awesome still. We're gonna throw some oil down the grill first, keep it from sticking and get a little bit of a flare, get some of that fire to kiss the meat when it gets on there. Things looking gorgeous. Get a little bit more oil down there to get some fire kicking up. Want to get a nice sear all the way around. So put this thing four times, a couple minutes each side. Check our temperature. One thirty-five. We are there. All right. This thing's done. We don't need to let it rest after searing it. We let it rest after we pulled out of the smoker. So putting a quick sear on it, 
yeah, maybe a minute, but by the time you get to it, you get cutting into everything, it's kind of a moot point. So we'll get the string off of this, just go right down the middle. And there you go, the stuff is phenomenal, man. Try a little taste of it. That's it, man. Flank steak stuff. I think we nailed the 135 too. It's got that smokiness, the pepper jack cheese, the spinach, the onions, the mushrooms, the roasted red peppers. I love roasted red peppers. So that's it. A little bit of work, not real difficult. Probably the hardest part is just rolling everything up. Once you get past that, it's just like cooking any other kind of steak, man. Reverse seared on the smoker, then on the grill. I'll leave the recipe in the description below on my website as always. Thanks again for everybody watching. I appreciate everyone's time. And we'll see you next time.